Almost 1 in 10 Canadians suffer from some kind of food allergy. Having one allergy may be difficult, but imagine being allergic to almost all foods. That's the reality for one local boy who hopes someone may be able to help. Like most other nine-year-old boys, Jericho Ferreira loves video games. But something sets Jericho apart from other kids. He's allergic to almost everything. Basically all he can eat is a couple of pieces of chicken breast a couple times a week. It's the only food that he's not allergic to right now. Aside from food allergies, Jericho is also allergic to latex, sunscreen, grass, pollen, dander and a host of other allergens. He was first diagnosed with eosinophilic esophagitis when he was six. His body makes white blood cells to anything that he eats and lots of things that he breathes in. So it can be something that's in the air um, or something that he eats and so the white blood cells start attacking the, his own tissues. In order to get enough nutrients, he's been fed a specific formula through a tube directly into his stomach. But six months ago, he took a turn for the worse. This is called Neocate. Um, and for the last year and a half, two years, this worked great for him. He was kind of symptom free, pretty, pretty easy. And then at the end of September, um, he got really, really sick. Jericho is too sick to go to school and has been home for six months. His energy is so low he can barely sit up for a half an hour, which means he can't have friends over. But his classroom pals have sent him cards hoping he comes back soon. We miss you. Have, have a speedy recovery. One friend at home is his pet dragon, Davy Jones, one of the only animals he's not allergic to. My sister's idea, since it's basically the only pet I could have. Jericho's mom, Tammy, is hoping someone out there can help, may know a treatment or a cure for her son. If he can never eat food, um, he's okay with that. He just wants to feel like he felt before where he could at least do things, right? Meantime, Jericho hopes to get well enough to go back to school. His dream is to be a scientist and find a cure for his condition. Aileen Machel, CKPG News.